Hey, this is Hackology, and we're here with Darren on his English leg of the tour. And I just thought I'd uh, get a quick word with him and see how it's going and see how the trip's going. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant to be here with you, Mr. T. And um, I must say that I absolutely love coming to England. It's so different from the rest of Europe, and uh, I always have a great time here. I need to stop coming here in February where it's zero degrees. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we're drinking all the booze and hacking all the things as you do. Hack all the things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, What's your most interesting moment that you've had um, over the last couple of weeks that you've been in Europe? Oh, well, the ITU is amazing just to see the, uh, the United Nations and the way that um, the governance is, is going on. And uh, I, I hate that the ITU is asking the question of, so how do we do internet governance? Which is like me asking you the question, so when did you stop beating your wife? Because the way that I feel is very much like uh, the Czech Republic feels in that the ITU has no role in internet governance. It's outside of their mandate and it's just move the bits. You're responsible for telecom communications, which is a utility, which is satellites and copper and fiber and make it happen. Well, we've already got rid of CISPR and the CCDV. How can the hackers this is, keep this, prevent this from happening? It would just stay on top of it because this will keep happening over and over and over. And the thing is, the honeymoon is over. The internet is not free. The internet is not open. The, that fallacy is gone. Uh, and we need to do everything possible to fight for that, but also stop thinking so, you know, just looking at the internet as the existing system we have and oh hey, uh, let's let's try to keep the the make believe that is the freedom of it, but start looking forward to the next generation networks. Let's look towards creating something truly free and open. Yeah. I was just gonna say, if they do get the chance to govern the internet, is there any technology that we could use to produce our own internet or our own private networks so, separate from that? There are so many awesome projects going on. I2P uh, uh, is one example, uh, Tor. There are so many different technologies for doing f free and open networks on top of the internet. The problem is that at the end of the day, you're using somebody else's copper, somebody else's fiber, somebody else's satellite, and until we have our own medium, then That's it nice. won't be truly free. And, and it's a very difficult thing because the things that the ITU are give us as unlicensed spectrum will never, as I say in the United States, cross Kansas. You won't get a 2.4 gigahertz, a 5.8 gigahertz, even a 60 gigahertz signal to go across long distances. And it's and I, as much as Anyway, I'm, I'm, yep. I'm very passionate about it. I don't care about bandwidth. I just want something free and free, open. open. And, uh, yeah. and I think that I, I think that we really need a, a hacker space initiative because it may be the only way that we can truly yeah. achieve that. Thank you very much for your time. Absolutely, it's, it's been good a to pleasure see you. to meet you. It's been a long trip for you, obviously. And you've been watching Hackology. Have fun hacking as always. And trust your techno list. Darren Kitchen, International Links. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah, I'm going to the bottom. Yeah, man. I'm going to go in there.